exercise for lesson eight. So we have our standalone preposition here, N for in the works of the law. Again, if there is a mistake or anything I make, uh, I would expect some, you know, point it out and I'll correct it. Number two, the Lord of heaven has or holds the gifts for the servants with the servants. It's probably going to be four. And I'm just going to put holds underneath for the word here. Number three, apo to namo kai apo ton apostolon. All right, we've got our another our prepositions here, and again, that is going to be from, and it is used with the ablative case, and so we know that these are in the ablative case. From the law, and from the apostles. The eyes, we are seeing the wine in the cup. So to put this in English, we're probably not going to use the, but since this is in a case, it could be with, have a connotation of with our eyes we are seeing. Um, you could also put we are seeing with our eyes. That is the connotation of why the eyes are in the the oblique case here. So I'm I'm going to put that in here with our eyes. We are seeing with our eyes. The little child knows or is knowing the brother. In English, it probably sounds better to put knows, but I'm going to put is knowing to kind of keep with the, the present and in the Greek in our minds. So we are going to be putting in the world, in the locative case, and in the temple in the locative case. And we're going to write our standalone preposition N. Number two, from the temple and from heaven. We have a preposition for these, it is apo, And we're going to put the temple in the ablative case. So Kai is our word for and. And again, we have apo. And heaven we're going to put in the ablative case. The apostles receive bread for the servants. The apostles gets the nominative plural case. So the word for receive, we are going to put in the third person plural with that usi ending, lambanusi. Bread is going to be in the accusative case. For the servants, we're going to put in the dative case, and it is plural.
actually that is not a circumflex there. That is a acute accent there. Number four, we know the law and believe. We know is gnoskamen. The law is in the accusative. And believe, we're going to put that the same omen ending on the word for believe. We are knowing the law and we are believing last one number five the son wishes to speak to the children so this is our infinitive here that's going to be legain the son is our subject ha wishes Belly, third person singular with this ending here. Here's our infinitive legain. And to the children is going to be in the dative case. It is plural. Moving on. I also have the vocabulary card here for chapter eight. And I realize I forgot to put out the one for chapter seven. So here that one is. And again, these are good to have out when we're doing the homework. And we are gonna be working on our accent card and our accent rules in just a moment, but I'm just gonna go back to the homework real quick because on second thought, I just wanna point out that it probably would be more accurate to not include the word for our here so I'm just gonna we'll just erase that that would be more accurate and then also on number four I'm not exactly sure that we would have omen on the ending for this word there probably is going to be a spelling we can use for just believe but I don't think we've come across that in the textbook yet so just kind of put that in the back of your mind for this particular translation on this exercise. So I have our accent card here and we're going to be pulling up the textbook. And we're gonna be writing out basically number 49 on the back of our card. The circumflex may stand on the ultima or penult. In other words, it cannot stand on the anti-penult. The circumflex cannot stand on the penult when the ultima is long. This is like a subrule under this first part, so I'm going to indent it a little bit. When the ultima is short and the penult is long, the penult takes the circumflex if the penult is to be accented. And again, that kind of comes from knowing where the accent is placed in the nominative singular. So those are our accent rules for now. And I believe we are moving on to chapter nine.